Hi guys, this is Shelly from Horseshoe Pottery. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show how I put a underglaze transfer onto a mug while it was still attached to the wheel. So there were a couple of questions on my Instagram page of how a solid transfer like this can go easily onto a curved body. And I did do a video on there doing this mug, uh, but they would like a little bit more in depth. So I'm gonna do that for you today. I'm going to do the mixed tape. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do now is straighten the walls of the mug. I did cut in a little bit when I did the pre-trim with my wood knife because the other two mugs that I did this with, it was pretty messy underneath here. So I'm gonna try and do a couple of different things than what I did with the other two. So this is just my third try at doing this. So if I did something that you thought was really silly, <laughs> you can definitely let me know. If you have any ideas, I'm totally open to hearing those. Um, you can just do that in the comments below. So I'm just gonna straighten the vessel. So just like doing the spoon rests or plates or anything like that, I want to make sure that all of the excess slip and all of the excess moisture is off the body of the mud. Because when you're using the underglaze transfers when the mug is still this wet, you definitely want to make sure that it is very, very dry. Otherwise, the transfer can smudge and smear. So a couple of the things that I noticed when I was applying the transfers to the other two is I was kind of off kilter. So I want to try and make it so that it is flat to the wheel head as possible. So before I was kind of coming at it at an angle this way, but I want to try it so that the transfer is pretty much as flat to the wheel head as I can get. And I'm just gonna take this slow because I don't want it to crease. I know it will crease, but I'm gonna try and make it so that it creases as little as possible. So it's lifting up a little bit here, so it's gonna buckle here, unfortunately. So yeah, that, um, yeah, so it's gonna crinkle right there. So it was a good idea in theory, but what I'm going to have to do is measure the transfer a little bit better because having this excess right here, um, I believe that is why it lifted up here because I wasn't being careful and also because the transfer was just way too long. But that's the perfect size for a spoon rest. Okay, yeah, that's a bummer, but we are learning together today. So I just got my sponge, it's barely damp. I'm kind of wondering 
you know, doing this, the reason why one would do this is to eliminate having all of the crinkles um, on the transfer on a curved mug or a curved body of any kind when it's just going to do it. Even though I've made the sides of the walls straight or, you know, straight up like a cylinder, it is still going to crinkle. Maybe once I've done it several times, I'll be able to perfect the process a little bit better and anything I learn, if I can fix the issues that I've come across in the last three times that I've done this, I'll definitely do another video and let you guys know. So I'm just gonna see how that has held I'm just going to go over this a little bit more. A little ASMR moment for you into that kind of thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull this off a little bit. So the, the black is looking okay. It's not perfect, but So there's some little crinkles here and there. I'm surprised it's not too bad. It's not as bad as the other two that I did. So this one might be okay. Okay, so now to make the curve of the mug. So I'm just going to, I, I typically like it fairly damp when I'm doing this so I just but I am just <laughs> cautious of getting the water dripping onto the transfer okay so just pushing outwards with my hand just making that nice little rounded body just widening the lip out a bit So I, I like to go off to the side to see if I really like the shape. And actually this is pretty good. I think I might just widen the belly a little bit more, just a tiny bit. Yeah, so that's not too bad. I like that shape. So I can see where the seam is. So I think what I'll do, because when I put the handle on this guy, cleaning up around, make, making sure that the handle was attached properly and whatnot, it messed up the transfer. So I think what I'll do before attaching the handle, I'll just clean off like a little area so that I don't have to worry about that kind of mess going on. Um, and I will attach the handle where the seam from the transfer is. 
so there are some crinkles. The curve has almost stretched out the the wrinkles. Um, I'm just trying to have a trying to look for that one that was really bad, and I I don't think I, I don't think I'm seeing it. Maybe once I get the the mug off and, and it's leather hard enough for me to handle, I might find it. But I'm not, I can't really see. Like, it was pretty obvious. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not really seeing it. So that might have been okay. Okay, guys. So I think what I'll do when I'm going to trim this guy, I'll come back and do a video of trimming. And even if you guys want, I'll do a video of me attaching the handle. It's my wire tool, it's from Mud Tools. I like it because it's not super long. So I pull towards myself, I know other people pull away but this is just the way that it seems to work for me. Okay guys, well thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.